Lecture 30. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the Virtual Universities course on Business and Technical Communication. In this lecture, we are going to look at how to write instructions. We will look at the different varieties of instructions. Uh, we will keep in mind some important points. Uh, basically, three most important points to remember when writing instructions are that instructions shape attitudes, uh, good visual design is essential for effective instructions and good visual design includes page design and visual aids. And another thing to remember is that testing is often indispensable as far as writing of instructions is concerned. We are also going to look at a conventional, a conventional superstructure for instructions which will include the introduction. The introduction looks at the uh, deals with the subject, the aim, uh, the intended readers, the scope, organization usage, motivation and background of uh, the instructions. Uh, the um, other elements of the instructions are the description of the equipment, theory of operations, lists of materials and equipment and directions. Directions could uh, include presenting all the steps in a list. In your list you could give one, you will give one step per entry. Uh, you will use headings and titles to indicate the overall structure of the um, uh, task that, will, that you are giving instructions about and you will use the active voice and the imperative mood and we will look at all these things in detail in the lecture today. You will also um, talk about the fact that you will be using a lot of illustrations in instructions and why that is important. You need to place warnings where readers will see them before performing the steps uh, which you are uh, talking about, you will also tell the readers what to do in the case of an uh, unexpected result or a mistake. We will also talk about how to tell the readers uh, how to take alternative steps if alternative steps may be taken. You will help your readers qu to quickly find the information that they want. Also, it is important to provide enough detail for your readers to do everything that they must do. Then there is also a section on troubleshooting which is very uh, an essential section as far as instructions go. Uh, you need to have a troubleshooting section which basically tells the readers what to do if things go wrong. Now first let us have a look at the different varieties of instructions. What are the different types of instructions that you might need to write? If you were to look at a sampling of the various kinds of instructions which are written at work, you would see that instructions vary greatly from situation to situation and they vary in length and complexity. Different kisam ki jo instructions hoti hain, unki length bhi fark hoti hai aur unki complexity bhi mukhtalif hoti hai. Jo bhi situation hai, jo bhi cheez hai jiske baare mein aap instructions de rahe hain, jo bhi procedure hai jiske aap explain kar rahe hain ki ye procedure kis tarah hoga. Uske hisab se instructions lambi bhi ho sakti hain aur khasi complicated bhi ho sakti hain ya khasi short or simple bhi ho sakti hain. Uh, the simplest and shortest instructions can be as few as just a few sentences long and long instructions can go over hundreds of thousands of pages. An example of a simple instruction would be for example the instructions that the state of Ohio prints on the back of one by one inch registration stri stickers that Ohio citizens must buy and fix on their uh, automobile license plates every year. Simple say stickers bhi agar hon, jo uh, make example dekhenge jo uh, America mein Ohio state mein stickers license plates ke upar logo ne lagane hote hain aur unke piche instructions likhi hoti hain, bahut simple hain. Is tarah ki bahut instructions aap bhi apne everyday life mein different cheezon ke upar dekhte honge. Ek example dekhte hain abhi. Is, uh, in instructions mein teen uh, basic instructions di gayi hain. Pehle, pehla step hai position sticker on clean dry surface in lower right hand corner of rear plate and in brackets it says uh, truck tractor front plate. Basically, if you have a truck or tractor, you can see the front number plate, if you have a car or automobile, then you can see the back ki plate. Pe. Uh, step number two if plate has a previous sticker, place new sticker to cover old sticker. And number three rub edges down firmly. 
बहुत सिंपल इंस्ट्रक्शंस हैं सिर्फ तीन स्टेजेस में इंस्ट्रक्शंस हैं बेसिकली बता रहे हैं स्टिकर किस तरह लगाना है जो कि बहुत सिंपल एक चीज़ है इंस्ट्रक्शंस देने की शायद ज़रूरत भी ना हो लेकिन क्योंकि कुछ गवर्नमेंट का कवानीन है कि स्टिकर एक ही स्पेसिफिक जगह पे लग सकता है इसलिए इंस्ट्रक्शंस देना ज़रूरी था तो ये तो एक एग्जांपल हो गया बहुत सिंपल इंस्ट्रक्शंस का और आपको इस तरह के सिंपल इंस्ट्रक्शंस आप भी अपनी एवरीडे लाइफ में खासी देखेंगे अदर इंस्ट्रक्शंस आर हंड्रेड्स और इवन थाउजेंड्स ऑफ पेजेज लॉन्ग एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ दीज लॉन्ग एंड हाईली कॉम्प्लेक्स इंस्ट्रक्शंस आर फॉर एग्जाम्पल दोज रिटन बाय कंपनीज लाइक जनरल इलेक्ट्रिक रोल्स रोल्स रॉयस मैकडोनल डगलिस फॉर सर्विसिंग एयरप्लेन इंजनस दैट दे मैनुफैक्चर जाहिर है एयरोप्लेन के जो इंजनस हैं उनकी सर्विस के लिए और उनकी मेनटेनेंस के लिए जो इंस्ट्रक्शन हैं वो बहुत कॉम्प्लेक्स होंगी एक सिंपल सी जो टास्क है एक स्टिकर सिर्फ चिपकाना है उसकी इंस्ट्रक्शन जो हैं वो बहुत सिंपल होंगी सो डिपेंडिंग ऑन द मोटिव डिपेंडिंग ऑन the complexity of the uh, product that you are uh, that the instructions are to a company the complexity of the instructions will also change other examples uh, of long instructions could be uh, uh, instructions that a company ibm equipment um, or other uh, computer equipment that companies write to a company their computers this uh, lecture will basically describe the superstructure for instructions in a way that will enable you to use the patterns for any instructions that you write whether those instructions are long or short to aaj hum ye dekhenge ki ek superstructure kya hota hai jo ke har kisam ki instructions mein aap istemal kar sakte hain basic rules kya hain basic conventions kya hain instructions likhne ki और उस हिसाब से आप आपके हिसाब से जो भी आपने इंस्ट्रक्शंस लिखनी हो खा वो छोटी हो या लंबी हो आपको जब एक जब पता होगा कि ये बेसिक रूल्स हैं ये चीज़ें ज़रूरी हैं इंस्ट्रक्शंस में होना और ये मोटिव्स हैं हमारे इंस्ट्रक्शंस लिखने के इस एक स्पेसिफिक तरीके से तो फिर आप हर किस्म की इंस्ट्रक्शन इफ़ेक्टिवली लिख सकेंगे दे थ्री इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स टू रिमेंबर वेन यू आर गोइंग टू बी राइटिंग इंस्ट्रक्शंस no matter how long or complex or how short or simple those instructions are first when writing instructions you should keep in mind that instructions shape attitudes secondly good visual design is essential and thirdly testing is often indispensable now let's have a look at each of these three points in turn instructions shape attitudes isse हमारा क्या मतलब है इंस्ट्रक्शंस किसी के एटीट्यूड्स को किस तरह मोल्ड कर सकती हैं किस तरह शेप कर सकती हैं ना ऑल द कम्युनिकेशन दैट यू राइट एट वर्क हैज अ डबल एम इट हेल्प्स योर रीडर्स परफॉर्म सम टास्क एंड इट अफेक्ट्स योर रीडर्स एटीट्यूड्स इन सम वे एटीट्यूड्स जाहिर है रीडर्स के इस तरह इफेक्ट होंगे कि जब वो एक किसी चीज़ के बारे में इंस्ट्रक्शन पढ़ेंगे तो उनको उससे पढ़ के अगर उनको लगे कि ये चीज़ तो इस्तेमाल करने में बहुत आसान है तो उनका उस चीज़ के बारे में एटीट्यूड फेवरेबल होगा अगर इंस्ट्रक्शंस पढ़ के उनको लगे कि ये तो चीज़ इस्तेमाल करना या समझना ही इसका इस्तेमाल बहुत मुश्किल है तो उनका एटीट्यूड उस हिसाब से चेंज होगा एंड सिंस दिस इज़ द केस इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर राइटर्स टू रिमेंबर दैट इंस्ट्रक्शन आर इन डीड शेपिंग एटीट्यूड्स हाव मैनी राइटर्स ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन focus their attention so sharply on the task that they want their readers to perform that they forget about the readers attitudes bahut bari hota hai ki likhne wale is cheez pe itna concentrate karte hain ki wo apne padhne walon se karana kya chahte hain ki wo unke attitudes ko bhul jate hain ki ye instructions padh ke unka attitude kya hoga to write effective instructions you must not commit this oversight you must keep your readers attitudes in mind their present attitude as well as their future future attitude the most important attitude with which you should concern yourself is that of your readers towards the instructions themselves readers jo hain unka instructions ke bare mein kya attitude hai you need to remember that most people dislike instructions in general ज़्यादातर लोगों को 
instructions sunna instructions padhna pasand nahi hota that's because generally people don't like to be told what to do people like to is uh, have the presumption people like to feel that they already know what to do so therefore there is always that slight resistance towards instructions and when faced with the work of reading uh, reading interpreting and following a set of instructions people are often tempted to toss the instructions aside and try to do the thing or whatever job it is they try to do it themselves by using their common sense aur ye ek bahut natural si baat hai aap bhi hum main bhi hum sab ka ki pehli instinct zyada tar baar yahi hoti hai koi bhi hum jab cheez dekhte hain jisko humne istemal karna ho ki isko to hum apne common sense se apni logic se hi istemal kar sakte hain aur hum in sabse pehle uski instructions nahi padhte jab humse nahi hota तो फिर हम इंस्ट्रक्शंस पढ़ते हैं कि ओहो ये तो अब हमसे नहीं हो काम हो रहा अब देखते हैं कि इसको सचमुच करना किस तरह था इंस्ट्रक्शंस क्या थी सो दैट्स अ वेरी दैट दैट्स ह्यूमन नेचर दैट पीपल इफ स्पेशली इफ इट्स समथिंग व्हिच इज सीम्स सिंपल इनफ टू परफॉर्म दैट वी डोंट बॉदर विद इंस्ट्रक्शन इन द फर्स्ट प्लेस सो द एटीट्यूड टू वर्ड इंस्ट्रक्शन इज दैट दे आर अलॉट ऑफ द टाइम्स दैट दे आर अननेसेसरी बट यू नीड टू रिमेंबर दैट यू and your employer will often have good reason for wanting people to use the instructions that you write you need to put yourself in on the other side you are now writing the instructions you are not using the instructions and as instructions writers you will have good reason to write those instructions jo bhi aapka product hai aap ya aapke employer aapki company ke paas khasa acha jawaz hai उन प्रोडक्ट्स के साथ इंस्ट्रक्शंस भेजने का क्योंकि जाहिर है जब तक इंस्ट्रक्शंस नहीं होंगी बहुत चांस है कि वो उस प्रोडक्ट आपके प्रोडक्ट को लोग ठीक से इस्तेमाल नहीं कर सकेंगे सो ऑब्वियसली यू विल नीड टू राइट इंस्ट्रक्शंस एंड यू विल हैव वेरी गुड मोटिवेशन फॉर दैट इट कुड बी दैट द जॉब दैट यू आर डिस्क्राइबिंग इज डेंजरस इफ इट डजेंट इफ इट इजेंट डन इन अ सर्टन वे और मे बी द प्रोडक्ट और इक्विपमेंट दैट यू आर प्रोवाइडिंग मे बी डैमेज if instructions are not followed properly so for wh- whatever reason you are writing the instructions there will always be a good enough motivation for writing them it could also be that you know that failure to follow instructions will lead many readers to an unsatisfactory outcome and which may then um, lead the blame to your company or to your employer agar instructions istemal kiye baghair रीड आपके पढ़ने वाले या आपके जो कंज्यूमर्स हैं वो आपके प्रोडक्ट पर इस्तेमाल करेंगे तो वो उससे हो सकता है कि पूरी तरह प्रोडक्ट से पूरी तरह सेटिस्फाई ना हो क्योंकि उसके सारे फीचर्स को वो एक्सप्लोर ना कर सकें या उससे पूरा काम ना अपना ले सकें और फिर ब्लेम जो है आपके प्रोडक्ट की प्रोडक्टिविटी का आपकी कंपनी आपके एम्प्लॉयर पर आएगा तो इसलिए भी ज़रूरी होता है कि इंस्ट्रक्शन अच्छी तरह लिखी गई हों ताकि लोगों को जो भी प्रोडक्ट है उसके फुल पोटेंशियल का अंदाज़ा हो उसकी वो फुल यूटिलिटी कर सकें सो ऑल दीज रीजन्स कम्बाइन टू मेक मेक इट इम्पॉर्टेंट दैट इंस्ट्रक्शन शुड बी वेल रिटन एंड दैट यू आर एबल टू परसुएड योर रीडर्स दैट दे नीड टू रीड द इंस्ट्रक्शन एज एन इंस्ट्रक्शन राइटर यू ऑल्सो वॉन्ट टू शेप योर रीडर्स एटीट्यूड्स टू वर्ड्स योर कंपनी एंड इट्स प्रोडक्ट्स हमने पहले बात की कि आपने Uh, एक जो एटीट्यूड है जो बहुत ज़रूरी है जिसको देखना है वो ये है कि आपके रीडर्स का एटीट्यूड इंस्ट्रक्शंस की तरफ क्या है दूसरी जो चीज़ आपने uh, आपके ऊपर जिस चीज़ की जिम्मेदारी है वो ये भी है कि आपके रीडर्स का एटीट्यूड आपकी कंपनी और आपके प्रोडक्ट की तरफ कैसा रहता है ये इंस्ट्रक्शन पढ़ के सो so, जाहिर है अगर वो आप जो इंस्ट्रक्शन हैं वो मुश्किल तरीके से लिखी होंगी तो जो कंज्यूमर है वो जो प्रोडक्ट को इस्तेमाल करना शायद ना चाहे या उसको थोड़ी सी झिझक हो प्रोडक्ट को इस्तेमाल करने में विद द रिजल्ट दैट हिज और हर एटीट्यूड टूवर्ड्स योर कंपनी दैट इज मैन्युफैक्चरिंग द प्रोडक्ट विल आल्सो नॉट बी वेरी फेवरेबल इफ यू रीडर्स फील दैट द प्रोडक्ट इज रिलायबल एंड द कंपनी थरोली बैक्स इट विद कम्प्लीट सपोर्ट विच इंक्लूड्स गुड इंस्ट्रक्शन देन द कंज्यूमर और योर रीडर विल बी मोर लाइकली to buy other products from your employer and to recommend these products to other people as well so good instructions make for good marketing as well 
another thing uh, elem the other, uh, second element that we talked about which was very important to keep in mind when writing instructions is the uh, visual design of the instructions good visual aids are very important as far as writing effective instructions is concerned to create instructions that will help your readers and also shape their attitudes in the way that you want you must pay special attention to the instructions and how they are designed. Uh, you need to pay special instructions to visual design which includes page design and the design of drawings, charts, flow charts, flow diagrams etc. So, the overall page ka design hai, usko bhi aapne dekhna hai aur jo different diagrams bane ve hai, bana rahe hai aap instructions mein, unke design ko bhi aapne baut ghar se dekhna hai aur unko baut achhi tarah banana hai. Now, what do we mean when we talk of page design? Aakhir page design aur jo visuals hai, unke design mein kya fark hai? In instructions, you need to have a good page design. Uh, page design wo hoga jo ek pura layout hoga page ka. Ek nazar, aapke reader ne page ko dekha, to unko kya us page se impression milta hai? Cheezein kis tarah set apart hai? Uh, kya cheez kaha page ke upar set ki gai hai? Aur jo uh, Diagrams ka design hai, wo to un individual diagrams ko uh, unke andar kis tarah designing hui hai, unka unki uh, jo hai, unki look kya hai. Coming back to page design, uh, readers almost invariably use instructions by alternating between reading and acting. Hota ye hai ki jab ek instruction booklet samne hoti hai, to readers generally ek do fikre padte hain. Phir wo kaam karte hain aur phir wapis instructions padte hain, agla step padte hain, phir wo kaam karte hain, phir tisra step padte hain, phir wo kaam karte hain. So, they read a step, then do the step, then read the step, do the step and so on. So, they are alternating between reading and actually doing. So, by designing your pages effectively, you can help your readers find information where they left off to follow the step, to do the action actually. And Every time they come back to the page, they need to be able to find their place on the page easily. If they, need, if they have to hunt for the spot where they left off, if uh, the instructions are written in a long paragraph form and every time the reader is looking away from the page and coming back to it, they have to try to find the sentence where they left off, then it becomes very frustrating. So, Although it may seem like a very trivial concern, कहने में एक छोटी सी बात लगती है कि शायद आप ये सोचेंगे क्या फर्क पड़ता है कि जो पेज डिजाइन है वो जैसा भी हो इंस्ट्रक्शंस तो इंस्ट्रक्शंस हैं उन्हें पढ़के काम करना है खूबसूरती से क्या फर्क पड़ता है लेकिन ये सिर्फ खूबसूरती नहीं है ये बहुत एक प्रैक्टिकल बात है क्योंकि अगर आपके पढ़ने वाले फ्रस्ट्रेट हो जाएंगे अगर उनको हर बार अपनी पोजीशन पेज के ऊपर ढूंढनी पड़ेगी तो शायद वो उन इंस्ट्रक्शंस को पढ़ना छोड़ दें um, और अगर वो जाहिर है अगर वो इंस्ट्रक्शंस को पढ़ना छोड़ देंगे तो फिर उनसे जो प्रोडक्ट है वो इफेक्टिवली uh, उनसे मैनेज नहीं होगा उनसे uh, वो उसको इस्तेमाल नहीं कर सकेंगे इफेक्टिवली और फिर वो उसका इस्तेमाल करना छोड़ देंगे तो आपकी कंपनी के लिए आपकी जो मार्केटिंग uh, है उसके लिए ये बुरा होगा आपकी वो वापस आपकी कंपनी से शायद और प्रोडक्ट्स ना खरीदें तो है तो ये छोटी सी बात लेकिन इसके लॉन्ग टर्म इफेक्ट्स खासे स्ट्रांग uh, हो सकते हैं Good page design ensures that you can, uh, your readers can grasp the connections between the related blocks of material in your instructions and uh, what they need to do. They need, they need to, they can make the connection between an instruction and a drawing or an instruction and another visual aid that accompanies it and all these things are important. Jo, jis tarah bhi instructions likhi gai hain, और जो साथ में अगर कोई विजुअल एड्स हैं ड्राइंग्स हैं उनका जो इंस्ट्रक्शंस के साथ जो सेंटेंस के हिसाब से इंस्ट्रक्शन लिखी गई उनका जो आपस में ताल्लुक है वो भी क्लियर होना चाहिए और जब वो पेज से नजर हटाएं और वापस पेज पे जाएं तो उनको कोई दुश्वारी नहीं होनी चाहिए इट्स आल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट टू रिमेंबर दैट द अपीयरेंस ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शंस इन्फ्लुएंसेस द रीडर टू यूज दोस इंस्ट्रक्शंस और नॉट टू यूज देम if the instructions appear difficult and very dense and uh, too complicated to follow uh, or if they appear unclear and unattractive, readers may decide not even 
to use them at all. अगर उनको इंस्ट्रक्शन इंस्ट्रक्शन बुकलेट को देखते ही रीडर्स को ये लगे कि ओह ये तो बहुत मुश्किल है ये तो बहुत कॉम्प्लिकेटेड है इसमें तो इतना मुझे पढ़ना पड़ेगा इतने घंटे लगा के पढ़ना पड़ेगा तो वो उसको पढ़ेंगे ही नहीं वो कहीं रखी रहेगी एक इंस्ट्रक्शन बुकलेट की दराज में सो कीपिंग दिस इन माइंड यू कैन इंक्रीज द इफेक्टिवनेस ऑफ मोस्ट इंस्ट्रक्शन बाई इंक्लूडिंग विजुअल एड्स वेल डिजाइन विजुअल एड्स आर मच मोर इकनॉमिकल दैन वर्ड्स in showing readers where the parts of a machine are located or what the result of a procedure should look like jab visual aids istemal kiye gaye honge zyada aur words kam istemal kiye gaye honge to wo readers ke liye zyada aasani hoti hai cheeze samajhne ke liye especially jab unko kisi se machinery ke parts ka pata na ho ya koi procedure mein different steps ki relationship batani ho ya ye batana ho ki is procedure ka result kya hoga तो इस टाइप की ज़्यादातर चीज़ों में विजुअल एड्स ज़्यादा इफेक्टिव होते हैं ना कि ये कि आप लंबे लंबे पैराग्राफ्स में उन बातों को एक्सप्लेन करें हाउ एवर इफ द विजुअल एड्स आर पोअरली प्लान्ड एंड पोअरली प्रिपेयर्ड दे कैन बी जस्ट एज कंफ्यूजिंग एज एंड फ्रस्ट्रेटिंग फॉर रीडर्स एज पोअरली रिटन प्रोज और पोअरली रिटन पैराग्राफ्स सो वेन यू आर यूजिंग विजुअल एड्स यू नीड टू बी वेरी वेरी श्योर दैट दे आर क्लियर that they are uh, attractive and that they are not confusing to the reader i will be giving you more advice about visual aids in lectures that will follow but for today let uh, it's important to know that visual aids for instructions need to be very clear and need to they need to be very it need to be very obvious what you are trying to show coming to uh, the third important consideration that i talked about earlier testing i said testing is often indispensable it may seem that all instructions are among the easiest of communications to write and therefore they don't need to be tested however this is a fallacy uh, instructions do need to be tested aapko lagta ho shayad ki instructions bahut simple hain lekin जब तक आप उन इंस्ट्रक्शंस को टेस्ट नहीं करेंगे ये नहीं देखेंगे कि जो इंस्ट्रक्शंस में बताया गया है जब हम वो करें तो सचमुच सही रिजल्ट आता है या नहीं आता है सचमुच मशीन उसी तरह ऑपरेट करती है जिस तरह उसको ऑपरेट करना चाहिए या नहीं इन इंस्ट्रक्शंस को फॉलो करने के बाद तब तक आप ये श्योर नहीं हो सकते कि आपकी इंस्ट्रक्शन ठीक हैं या नहीं हैं बिकॉज जनरली वैन यू आर डिस्क्राइबिंग वैन यू राइटिंग इंस्ट्रक्शन यू आर डिस्क्राइबिंग अ प्रोसीजर दैट यू नो वेरी वेल आप एक प्रोसीजर को बहुत अच्छी तरह जानते हैं और इसलिए आप उसकी इंस्ट्रक्शंस लिख रहे हैं और आपका ऑब्जेक्टिव ये है कि आप अपने रीडर को ये बताएं कि ये जो काम है इसको सबसे सिंपल तरीके में सबसे आसान तरीके में किस तरह कर सकते हैं और आप उनको बताएं एक इतने क्लियर और डायरेक्ट तरीके से कि उनको कोई कन्फ्यूजन ना रहे uh, कहने में या देखने में तो ये बात बहुत सिंपल लगती है कि आप एक चीज़ के एक्सपर्ट हैं आपने किसी और को बताना है कि उस काम को किस तरह करना है बट एक्चुअली इंस्ट्रक्शंस प्रेजेंट अ कंसिडरेबल चैलेंज टू द राइटर बिकॉज व्हेन यू एक्चुअली गेट डाउन टू राइटिंग इंस्ट्रक्शंस यू विल फाइंड दैट इट्स ऑफन डिफिकल्ट टू फाइंड द वर्ड्स दैट विल टेल यूर रीडर्स वॉट टू डू इन अ वे दैट विल बी क्विक एंड क्लियर टू अंडरस्टैंड क्योंकि हमें एक चीज़ बहुत अच्छी तरह पता है लेकिन हमें ज़रूरी नहीं कि किसी को बताना भी उतनी अच्छी तरह ही हमें आए सो यू नीड टू फाइंड वर्ड्स दैट पुट योर पॉइंट अक्रॉस क्लियरली एंड डायरेक्टली एंड सिंपली एंड आल्सो क्विकली सो दैट द रीडर्स आर नॉट वेस्टिंग टाइम इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग वॉट यू नीड टू से ऑल्सो बिकॉज यू नो द प्रोसीजर सो वेल it may be very easy for you to miss out some crucial information when you're writing instructions because you don't realize that it's important for the audience to know it because you just take it for granted that the reader will know uh, what needs to be done so because you know it so well and the reader might not know it so you need to be careful that you're not making any slips because the consequences of even relatively small slips in writing even only a few directions in a set of instructions is very great because you might feel that this thing is not very important to uh, spell out or you might 
no, uh, not realize that it's important to spell out, but if the reader misses out even a, sing, a single step in the instructions, then they will not be able to operate the product successfully. Every step contributes to the successful completion of the task and the difficulties the readers will have with any step can prevent them from completing the task in a satisfactory manner. So therefore, all steps have to be clear, all steps have to be spelt out. Even if the readers eventually figure out how to perform all the steps, their initial confusion with one or two steps can greatly increase the time it takes for them to complete the procedure. So all steps have to be clear so that there is no confusion with even one or two steps for as far as, as the readers are concerned. Furthermore, in steps that are potentially dangerous, one little mistake can create tremendous problems. So again, if uh, you feel that there are uh, some parts of the instructions, some steps that need to be taken that might be dangerous, then you need to be very careful in how those instructions are given and you need to warn readers in advance of what not to do. To do. You will be telling them what to do, but you also need to tell them what to avoid. So it's absolutely necessary to determine if your instructions will work with your intended audience or not. So it's absolutely essential for you to know if your instructions will work with your audience or not. And to do that, the best thing to do is to give a um, draft of your instructions to people who are a, a representative sample of your audience do a test run of your instructions to make sure that they are actually easily understood and they can be the information can be easily managed by uh, the type of people who will be uh, who will comprise of your audience have your test readers work in a situation that closely resembles or as it resembles as closely as possible the situation in which your readers will work gather information without interfering with the reader's activity. Uh, because once you have tested the instructions and if you, if you feel or if uh, the feedback you get from the representatives of the audience is that there need to be any changes, then it's better to, do, to make those changes at a stage where the instructions have not gone out to all the readers rather than publishing the instructions and then getting feedback from readers saying we couldn't operate the uh, the product or uh, whatever it was that the instructions accompanied because the instructions weren't clear to follow. So it's always better to pre-test what you're writing and then make the necessary changes before giving out the final version. Now let's have a look at a conventional superstructure for instructions. There are key elements in instructions. There's an introduction. There's the description of the equipment if the instructions are for running a piece of equipment. There is the theory of operations and lists of materials and equipment, all that, all that is accompanying the instructions, and a guide for troubleshooting. The uh, simplest instructions contain only directions. Most complex instructions contain some or all of the uh, five elements that we talked about. The selection depends upon the aims of the writer and the needs of the readers. Most instructions also contain elements found in a longer communications such as reports and proposals. And amongst these are uh, things like a cover, a title page, table of contents, appendices, list of references, glossary, list of symbols, index, etc. These are things which can be found in longer instructions. And because these elements are not particular to instructions, we will not discuss them here in this lecture. We have discussed parts of these in uh, lectures, uh, earlier lectures on reports, uh, etc. So if you are writing long instructions where any of these elements need to be taken in account, then you can refer to that. But generally for short instructions, you will not have these additional elements. Let's have a look at the introduction of, uh, an, uh, of instructions. As we discussed earlier, some instructions contain only directions and no introduction. 
Often, however, readers find an introduction to be helpful or even necessary. In the following example, you will see how to apply that general advice when you are writing instructions. In the conventional superstructure for instructions, introductions tell some or all of the following things. They talk about the subject, the aim, the uh, intended reader, they tell you a bit about the scope, organization, usage, uh, they inform you about the motivation and the background in which the instructions were written. Let us have a look at some of these elements of an introduction. The subject, writers usually announce the subject of their instructions in the first sentence. We are going to have a look at a first sentence from the operating manual of a 10 ton machine used at the ends of assembly lines that make automobiles and truck tires. This uh, subject line says or this uh, sentence says the, this manual tells you how to operate the tire uniformity optimizer. Here is a second sentence from the owner's manual for a small lightweight personal computer. This one says this manual introduces you to the Apple Macintosh computer. As you can see, these sentences announcing the subject are, uh, can, can, are somewhere at the very beginning of the introduction, generally the first or the second sentence. These sentences are intentionally kept simple for the sake of understanding. Coming to the next element, the aim. From the beginning, readers want to know the answer to the question, what can we achieve by doing the things this communication or these instructions instruct us to do? With some instructions that you write, the purpose of or outcome of the procedure described will be obvious. For example, most people who buy computers know many of the things which computers can do. And for this reason, a statement about what computers can do would be unnecessary in the Macintosh instructions, which in fact contain uh, no reasons. However, other instructions do have to answer readers' questions about the aim of instructions. In operating instructions for pieces of equipment, uh, for example, readers, uh, writers often answer the readers' questions about what the procedure will achieve by telling the capabilities of the equipment. A lot of the times, readers do not know what the equipment is capable of and or what the equipment can achieve and consequently what the instructions will uh, achieve for the reader. So, the writers then uh, do this by telling the readers about the capabilities of the equipment. Basically, which means if you follow these instructions, this is what the equipment will be able to do. And depending upon your options and your machine, uh, for example, if uh, you are writing the uh, manual for uh, optimizer tires, it may do one or all of the following jobs. They may, you may test your machine, may test tires, it may find irregularities in tires, it may grind to correct the irregularities if possible, it may grade tires, it may mark tires according to grade or sort tires by grade. So, if that is what your machine does, then these are the different things that it can do and these uh, would be the aims that would be achieved by following the instructions of, of that particular machine. So, therefore, it is important that if it is a piece of machinery or if it is a product with which readers might not be very familiar, then it is important that the aims are actually set out in, uh, in terms of a list of things that that uh, machine can actually do. Now, coming to the intended readers who will be targeted in the instructions and there will be some form of reference to them in the introduction. Many readers will ask themselves, are these instructions written for us or for people who differ from us in interests, responsibilities, level of knowledge and so on. Bahut baar ye hua hoga aapke saath bhi ki aapne ek instruction booklet uthai hogi aur aapne ye socha hoga ki ye instruction booklet jo hai ye mere liye hai. For example, agar television ki instruction booklet hai yeah, so, you have seen that this instruction booklet is for me because I have to use television or for those people who have to use television. 
So, what, what is the level of knowledge that is required by the readers? That, that is something that is uh, important. So, it is it's important that the intended readers are obvious to whoever is reading the instructions. Often, uh, a lot of the times readers will know the answer to that question without being told explicitly. Or you know, kis tarah pata chalega jawab? Ye unko is tarah pata chalega jab wo instruction booklet ko dekhenge, unko just kisam ki usme information di gayi hogi, usse andaza ho jayega ki ye unki level of knowledge ke liye hai ya ye kisi aur ke liye hai. Agar jo readers hain, wo uh, technical experts hain, to unko phir andaza ho jayega ki ye jo instruction manual hai, for example, agar bilkul basics isme batayi gayi hain ki ek cheez ko operate kis tarah karna hai to zahir hai wo technical experts jo hain unko pata chal jayega ki instruction manual hamare liye nahi likhi gayi hai ye users ke liye likhi gayi hai lekin agar usme us machinery ki ya television ki sari circuits ki uh, detailing di gayi hogi to phir it would be obvious that the manual has been written for the technical experts and not for the layman users uh, uh, people for example who pick up computer manuals often wonder whether the manual will assume that they know more or less about computers than they actually do. In such situations, it is most appropriate for you to answer the question, you do not need to know anything about the Macintosh or any other computer in order to understand these instructions. If you write a sentence in this way, then पढ़ने वालों को पता चल जाएगा कि ये जो इंस्ट्रक्शंस हैं ये खासी बेसिक हैं हम भी ये कर सकते हैं एंड इट विल इंक्रीज देयर कॉन्फिडेंस आल्सो इन रीडिंग दोस इंस्ट्रक्शंस नाउ कमिंग टू स्कोप इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द स्कोप ऑफ द इंस्ट्रक्शंस आंसर्स द रीडर्स क्वेश्चंस व्हाट काइंड्स ऑफ थिंग्स विल वी लर्न टू डू बाय रीडिंग दिस इंस्ट्रक्शंस एंड व्हाट थिंग्स वोंट वी लर्न in instructions mein kya kya cheeze hain hum in instructions ki wajah se hum kya kya cheeze seekh sakte hain aur kya nahi seekhenge for example the writers of a tie uniformity manual would answer the, that question in their third or fourth sentence the writers of the macintosh manual answer the same question in this way they say this manual tells you how to and then they list they say use the mouse and keyboard to control your macintosh Chapter 1, get started with your own work, make changes to it and save it. Chapter 1. Ab inne, jo bhi uh, cheeze hai, jo bhi scope hai us manual ka, jo bhi cheeze cover ho rahi hai unko, ek list form mein likh diya aur ye bhi saath bata diya ki ye cheeze kaha us manual ke andar kaha unko milengi. So, ek wo table of contents sa bhi ban gaya saath. Now, the organization. Uh, the scope also refers directly to the organization where things will be found, how they will be set, aside, set apart in the uh, instructions manual. By describing the organization of the instructions, writers answer the reader's question, how is the uh, information given here put together? Your readers may want to know the answer so that they can look for specific pieces of information. उनको जरूरी नहीं है कि वो पूरी इंस्ट्रक्शन बुकलेट पढ़ना चाहें वो शायद कोई स्पेसिफिक इंफॉर्मेशन चाहें तो इसलिए जब उनको पता चल जाएगा कि आपने उसको किस तरह ऑर्गेनाइज किया है तो वो आराम से वो इंफॉर्मेशन ढूंढ सकेंगे द रीडर्स मे वॉन्ट टू नो अबाउट द ओवरऑल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सिंपली बिकॉज दे कैन देन अंडरस्टैंड द इंस्ट्रक्शन मोर रैपिडली एंड थरली देन दे कुड विदाउट द इंस्ट्रक्शन द राइटर्स ऑफ द मैकेटॉश मैनुअल अनाउंस इट्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एट द सेम टाइम as they tell the manual's scope. What about usage? Usage is also something that will be addressed in the introduction. As they begin to use the set of instructions, readers will often ask themselves, how can we get the information we need as quickly as possible? Sometimes, the obvious answer is to simply follow the instructions from beginning to end or to look for a certain type of uh, certain set of steps and then follow them. जनरली अगर आपने ये आपका एक दिमाग में सवाल है कि हमें इन्फॉर्मेशन किस तरह मिलेगी तो सबसे आसान तो उसका ये तरीका है कि आप पूरी बुकलेट पढ़ लें आपको इन्फॉर्मेशन मिल जाएगी या जो आपको स्पेसिफिक चीज़ें चाहिए स्पेसिफिक इन्फॉर्मेशन चाहिए उसको आप मैनुअल में ढूंढ लें और उन इंस्ट्रक्शन को फिर फॉलो कर लें फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर आपके टेलीविजन का मैनुअल है और आपने आपको ये पता है कि इसको ऑपरेट किस तरह करते हैं वॉल्यूम किस तरह ऊपर नीचे कर रहे हैं या कौन कौन से बटन इस्तेमाल कर रहे हैं एक्सेट्रा लेकिन आपको एग्जैक्टली exactly ये नहीं पता कि आप उसमें चैनल्स किस तरह सेव करेंगे तो फिर आप सिर्फ 
उस सेक्शन में जाएंगे और अपने चैनल सेव करना सीख लेंगे द मैनुअल फॉर द टायर यूनिफॉर्मिटी ऑप्टिमाइजर इज यूज इन जस्ट सच अ स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड वे सो इट कंस्टेन्स द स्पेशल एडवाइस अबाउट हाउ द रीडर्स शुड यूज इट अ लॉट ऑफ द टाइम्स मैनुअल्स हैव इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑन हाउ टू यूज द मैनुअल इज वेल एंड दैट इज वॉट वी आर रिफरिंग टू हेयर एंड अदर इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज मोटिवेशन एज पॉइंटेड आउट बिफोर वेन पीपल आर फेस्ड विद द वर्क ऑफ यूजिंग अ सेट ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शंस दे आर ऑफन टेम्पटेड टू टॉस आउट द इंस्ट्रक्शंस एंड ट्राई टू यूज द जॉब ट्राई टू डू द जॉब बाई यूजिंग कॉमन सेंस यू कैन डू सेवरल थिंग्स टू परसुएड योर रीडर्स नॉट टू इग्नोर योर इंस्ट्रक्शंस फॉर इंस्टेंस यू कैन यूज एन इन्वाइटिंग एंड सपोर्टिव टोन एंड एन अट्रैक्टिव अपेयरेंस such as used in the macintosh manual you can tell the user directly why it is important for him or her to read the manual and follow the instructions in the examples that we are going to look at we describe two kinds of statements that writers provide to motivate readers to read from the operating instructions of typewriters we've taken an example for you which says to take advantage of the automatic features of the IBM 60 you need to take time to do the training exercises offered in this manual the other example is from the operating instructions of an office photocopy machine and it says please read the manual thoroughly to ensure correct operation now as you saw both of these sentences are very direct and they actually urging the reader to read the instructions so that they can actually perform their task better coming to the background the last thing that will be addressed in the introduction the uh, the particular pieces of background information that your readers uh, need vary from one instruction to the next there are two kinds of background information which are important a description of the equipment and explanation of the theory of operations so in your in your introduction you will have both of these or at least you will have some kind of reference to both of these now ye to baat ho gayi introduction ki ye different elements the jo introduction mein address hote hain now coming to directions up after the introduction you will give directions on how to do things you will present the steps in a list in your list you will give one set at a time for example uh if you say 14 uh, step 14 drain the canister and then within that you will give the specific steps for doing that release the latch that locks the canister's drain cap unscrew the cap uh is jaise aapne is example mein dekha jo bhi ek step hai uske aage agar uh, sub sub steps hain to unko bhi list form mein bataya jata hai and you, you will also use headings and titles to indicate the overall structure of the task आप हेडिंग्स दें टाइटल्स दें उनको स्टेप्स को नंबर करें ताकि पढ़ने वालों के लिए आसानी हो फॉलो करने में कि अब वो कहाँ तक स्टेप्स फॉलो कर चुके हैं और उन्हें आगे क्या करना है यू विल यूज़ द एक्टिव वॉइस एंड द इम्पेरेटिव मूड फॉर एग्जांपल यू विल राइट सेट द डायल टू सेवन दिस इज मच सिंपलर देन सेंग द ऑपरेटर देन सेट्स द डायल टू सेवन आप इंस्ट्रक्शंस दे रहे हैं इसलिए आपके इम्पेरेटिव मूड होगा जिस तरह के आप ऑर्डर दे रहे हों उसमें कोई आपने आपको प्लीज टाइप नाइसिटीज कहने की जरूरत नहीं है और आपको पैसिव uh, वॉइस इस्तेमाल करने की भी जरूरत नहीं है यू विल आल्सो यूज इलेस्ट्रेशंस टू शो वेयर थिंग्स आर हाउ टू परफॉर्म द स्टेप्स एंड वट द रिजल्ट शुड बी यू ऑल्सो नीड टू मेक श्योर दैट यू प्लेस वार्निंग्स where readers will see them before they actually perform the steps to which these warnings apply if you're going to warn the readers of something that they should not do something they should take care then it obviously makes sense to uh, let them know of that of whatever hazard uh, a certain act can um, result in before they're actually going to do that step also where alternative steps may be taken help your readers quickly Find the one way that they want. अगर एक चीज़ एक से ज़्यादा तरीके से हो सकती है तो अपने readers को आप confuse मत करें सारे options दे के उनको directly guide करें कौन सा option उनके लिए बेहतर है You also need to provide enough detail to your readers to do everything that they must do. So by keeping all these points in mind, 
you can write very effective and very attractive instructions. In this lecture, you, we've talked about the different varieties of instructions. We've looked at the important points to remember, attitudes, uh, visuals, and testing. We've looked at a conventional superstructure for instructions, where we looked at the different elements of introduction, which included the subject, aim, intended readers, scope, organization, usage, motivation, and background. We looked at how to describe the equipment, why uh, the, if need be, the theory of operation. And also, we talked about the fact that you needed to include lists of materials and equipment if necessary. We also looked at how to write the directions. Uh, I told you that it was important to write the directions in uh, the, all the steps as, as a list. In your list, you need to give one step per entry. You need to use headings and titles to indicate the overall organization structure of the task. And you need to use the active voice and the imperative mode. Uh, since its instructions. The, we talked of the role of illustrations and the importance of those. Uh, we talked about the fact that you need to uh, place warnings where readers will see them before performing the tasks to which those warnings apply. We also uh, said that you need to tell your readers what to do in case of an unexpected result or a mistake, how uh, they can take uh, alternative steps or if there are alternative steps that can be taken, help your readers quickly find the one step that they want. You also need to provide enough detail for your readers to do everything that they must do. Ye na ho ke koi na koi detail skip ho jaye aur readers ka jo kaam hai wo beech mein kharaab ho jaye. With this, we come to the end of this lecture on instructions. If you have any queries, please feel free to contact us. The email is Until next time, Allah Hafiz.